Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. This is the loading screen. Yep. Oh, we got a trophy for going the in the loading screen. And the Uplay action complete. So what do you think of the Uplay system? Uh, I don't know. It just feels like there's not enough going on with it, so it seems kind of useless to me. I like it. It's like an little extra thing. You get little extra bonuses for doing certain actions they gave you do anyways. Yeah, but they're, like all the Uplay awards are basically achievements or trophies anyways already in the game, so... No, they unlock you stuff like extra costumes and... T- they even have entire new levels. But at least have a different thing that you have to do for it. And there's, like... Wait, is there new levels? Yeah. They're usually, like, the highest tier reward. Mm-hmm. Uh, or they'll unlock a new character in multiplayer. Like, there's different rewards for different games, that kind of thing. But don't you have to buy them? No, it's just... You, you get... Basically, every game has 100 points you can get. And the just, like, getting every reward costs 100 points. So as long as you beat the game then you'll be good. Although, some of them have a bit other trickier ones. or things like uh, having multiplayer-based achievements, which means you have to do the multiplayer to get. But then, mm. usually you unlock a multiplayer thing with that, so it's... I don't know. I could have swore, like, when I did it, it's like, okay, you have a few hundred points, but you need, like, to put in some money or a thousand points or something to get anything, because I couldn't get anything. And I think you just suck. <laughs> Anyways, on to the actual game. Me Ezio Auditore. Da Firenze. Yes, Da Firenze. This is the protagonist of the next three games. Um, and he's a really enjoyable character. And I like this. It's basically just like a renaissance version of Greece. Greece? Yeah. Oh, like, the movie Greece. Okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the two different social classes. Well, not really social classes. It's the exact same social class. But Yeah, Ezio seems like a little rival street games. punk, but he's actually quite rich. So yeah, He's like Aladdin, but wealthy. Aladdin is wealthy, though. Once he gets a wish, but he starts off as a street rat. Oh, right, right. I'm thinking of when he becomes a king or something. Yeah, a prince. A prince. Because no one wants to be a king, you know, it just means you have power. Yeah. But yeah, I really like Ezio, though I don't like this version of Ezio, the very beginning Ezio, when he's kind of a punk. Well, I really like it because Ezio goes through really significant growth, not just in this game, but all the future games. I'm really looking forward to yeah. going through all of that. There is a lot of character development with him, which is good. Man, first we're getting our combat tutorial. We've got to beat up lots of people. Um, at this point in the game, you don't really have a lot of the key abilities, and I actually kind of forget this and don't do as well as I could have, because I don't I forget that there's not a lot of abilities you can choose from. But yeah, basically just mash square or whatever the button is for you, and beat up people, and you're, that's about it. I love how they have health above them, because one of the biggest things I don't like in games is when I don't know how much health the thing I'm attacking has. Yeah. So, I like that it has health. And you can just do that. It's so satisfying. I just realized the health bars look like the health bars from the Little King story. Oh, it is actually. Good time to put a plug in for Little King story. Play it. Yeah, please play it. And Okami. Seriously, if you can find Little King story, it's still not that expensive, but it's getting more and more expensive. So please, if you it's ha- getting more expensive. Yeah, because it's getting harder and harder to find. Yeah. So if you have any will to play a good Wii game, just Get Little King's story. Anyways, back to this. <laughs> now we're joined by our brother, Ezio's brother, I should say, and he challenges you to beat up lots of people without getting beaten up. Same as ever, really. Just nice gang war to start off. Yep. So when Desmond's living the memories, can he know all the thoughts of Ezio? No. No, he doesn't know the thoughts. He's just, Ezio in this is basically just a puppet that he is manipulating. Hmm. It's not the actual person in any sense of the way. Mm. That's weird. But I yeah. love those combos. Yeah, it is possible to counter someone, but it's just kind of finicky at this point because you haven't technically unlocked it. Apparently that Jay glitch with this, where you can start off with like a, a weapon accidentally in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like the poison dart gun. <laughs> That'd be fun. This game of Poison Dart Gun? I think it's oh. a later one. Okay, well, you have a later game's gun. Oh, spoilers, there's guns in this game, despite it being set in, like, the 1600s. <laughs> or no, 1400s. Well, they have a good excuse for it, which well, I won't spoil. We've really just laid waste to this part of the town. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just bodies everywhere. You have a little cut. It's a very elaborate cut, actually. <laughs> Is that from the rock that he threw in the beginning? Yeah, or... it, which he didn't even try to avoid. <laughs> no, he saw it coming for sure, but... Oh, well, Ezio's that tough that he'll take a rock to the face, no problem. Yeah, he doesn't care. No, Ezio doesn't care. What do you think of this form of Ezio in terms of design? Like, the look of the character? Yeah, like the clothes, the, like, ponytail hair kind of thing. Uh, I think it's good. It's kind of what, like, it's realistic. That's what it would have looked like, I would imagine, yeah. so... I like that it's not as over the top as a lot of other characters in this time period would be. Like, it doesn't have the big puffs or anything. Yeah. Well, he's just a kid, more. It's, I yeah. think it's the older people that do that sort of thing. Yeah, but. show off their wealth. Yeah. And, and when we watched the live-action movie that precedes this, you thought Ezio was a girl. <laughs> and that's the thing. In the game, I think he pulls off the ponytail pretty well, but yeah, he'd probably look like a girl in real life. Probably. But everyone in Italy does, so it's okay. Sorry, Italian fans. Just Italian fans from the 1600s. Don't worry, modern Italian fans, you're okay. Okay, but yeah, any, any uh, past Italian fans watching us. Yeah, sorry. I'm very sorry. Don't want to be offensive, it's just what we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now we just have to loot bodies until we have enough money to go to see the doctor, because apparently go for the doctors for cuts in the lip in this time period. Yep. I guess if you're rich, you might as well, because I guess at this point, you'd probably get, like, the Black Plague or something like that. <laughs> also, I like how your reward for pickpocketing 200 florins is 100 florins. Yeah. Uh, let's just throw this guy away. Yeah. There, I officially have committed my first murder. <laughs> oh, wow. Grows up so fast. Yeah, not even an assassin yet. What do you think of Ezio's brother? Um, I don't know. I can't really remember him. And, well, I haven't seen enough of him yet to remember, so. Well, he's pretty much just your typical older brother figure. He's protective. Yeah, protective and, and wants Ezio. Wants to learn things and stuff. Like. Yeah, exactly. Also, everyone in the Auditoria family can just do parkour for some reason. Also, everybody in the game can do parkour. Yeah, everybody in Assassin's Creed can do parkour. <laughs> if you push a beggar <laughs> off of a ledge and they don't fall off, they'll parkour their way back up. Yep. <laughs> and then they'll go back to having like a broken back or something. Yep. I love the doctor costume. Oh yeah, wasn't that about those noses? Yeah, like back in the day, like when they had the plague and stuff like that, they thought that if they wore that mask and put flowers at the end of the nose and breathed in those nice scents all day that they wouldn't get sick. So that's and, the reason for that. I mean, that might have actually worked if they had the right things in there. You never know with flowers and stuff, they might be healing. Maybe. It's funny because the doctors are treated as fix-it-all healers that can just solve any injury. Mm -hmm. But if you listen to them, talk it's like, leeches, get your leeches here, that kind of thing. So yeah, going to these doctors probably wouldn't actually heal you. <laughs> uh, leeches heal everything, don't you know that? Yeah, oh, I got a stab, but don't worry, we'll leech off you. <laughs> But yeah, the doctor, I just love how it just, it looks so like scary, but cool, but awesome. Like, I just want to dress up like one of those doctors and walk around town on Halloween. I like I just pauses up this scene so we can start this mission. <laughs> We're trying to learn every bit about Frederico here. Oh, the little ruffles on the ends of his skirt type thing. Yes, the is. ruffles. That's what we're looking at. What were you looking at? Um, the patterns. Now, yeah, I like how he runs off that way, but the race is the top of this building, so you can just climb up the building instead. Yeah, you basically can climb up anything. It doesn't look like you can, but there's handholds everywhere, so... It, even la but later on, though, it just gets even more so. Like, in later games, you, as you get more and more climbing abilities. Yeah. Oh, and what's playing right now, I really love... The race theme of this game. It's called Venice Rooftops. And oh, yeah. The music's the, fantastic. Such a great song. They don't have that in the later games, do they? Well, it's the theme song of this. It's actually a remix of a song called Ezio's Family. Oh, okay. It's yeah, so used as Ezio's theme, basically. Bella vita la nostra, eh, fratello? 
Yeah, parkouring around, having gang fights. Yeah, getting healed by leeches. And here we go. Very cinematic. Tail screen appears. <laughs> What's the reason for going up there? I felt like it. Uh, you know, Ezio, let's just climb to the top of that building and we then We need to stand synchronize there. a viewpoint. <laughs> But yes, Assassin's Creed is very cinematic, which is awesome. It is a lot like a movie in a lot of ways. Yeah, but it's, it's, a, it's a interactive really, movie. Yeah, it shows, though, how a game can be more than a movie in a lot of ways. It's I wouldn't say the, the story alone is good enough for a movie, though I am looking forward to the movie. Mm -hmm. I, they're just going to have to change some things to make it really work, I think. When is this movie coming out, by the way? I don't know. Mo game movies never come out. <laughs> Or they do, but you just never hear about them because they suck or something. And there we go. We synchronize our first viewpoint. This is how we can find the rest of the areas in the city. Yeah, it makes the map look like something. Yeah, it unclouds the map for you. And you That's, there's lots of viewpoints. Yeah. See, 66. And you can do that awesome eagle dive. F yes, on every viewpoint, there is always a bale of hay. Yep. Oh no, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. Ah. <laughs> Nope. Um, <laughs> oh, what was that okay. random guy? What, that one random guy's like, what? <laughs> he thought he'd just wash his hands off on the hay or something. Mm -hmm. Dry them off, I mean. So yeah, that's how you remain undetected. You go in bales of hay. Yep. Or, or groups of people, but bales of hay are cooler. Bales of hay are your friends. At this point, um, there'll be members of that gang, well, whatever they really are, uh, on the lookout for you and if you get detected then you can't proceed them until you lose them or beat them up or something like that and we were just so close to getting to the marker and then they noticed us yeah. luckily losing someone is actually pretty easy see they'll never know <laughs> I was hiding the bale of hay and everything be good is this hay or is this something else hey there's nothing else but hay in this game That's but it's, silly. it's like pink holy leaves what? <laughs> that looks like pink holy leaves. You gotta admit that. No, it looks like hay. <laughs> that does not look like hay. Hay is not pink for one. I don't think that there is such thing as a plant called pink holy leaves. <laughs> I'm not saying the plant, <laughs> and he's right there and doesn't, yeah, doesn't, he doesn't even care. <laughs> he forgot what he was doing. Do you mean cherry blossoms? Yeah, cherry blossoms. Yeah, this is actually Japan. Yeah, well, they're Japan's holy in Japan, apparently, so... I should have known. It's such a typical thing, like gang fights, and parkour, and then forbidden love. Because yes, this is actually, this nice lady is actually part of the family that Ezio was just beating up. Is she actually? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Why do you think the dad doesn't want Ezio to be with her? I just thought he didn't like Ezio. Because they're part of rival families. Ah. Uh, I see. Yes, the families in question are the Auditoria family and the Patsy family. And yes, just like everyone was waiting for, the quick time event to have sex. <laughs> of course, Etsy doesn't take off his clothes. <laughs> no, he's a man. Men yes. never take the clothes off. And then he has some sort of, like, ability to turn off candles. Mm -hmm. But yes, we'll leave into that. See you next time. Adios.